What is happening? Welcome to another pitcher video breakdown. I am Nick Pollock, former pitching coach, former baseball college pitcher. Yeah, I can say things. Founder of Pitcher List as well. We're going to talk about Patrick Corbin. Patrick Corbin had a fantastic outing yesterday. Seven innings pitched, nine strikeouts uh, as he took down the Phillies. It's really the new Patrick Corbin. Uh, as we've been waiting all year for him to have success. He was throwing 92.7 miles per hour after averaging around 90-91 earlier this year and he finally got whiffs on that slider but we're gonna watch it we're gonna see look are these it was this an anomaly of a start was he in rhythm was he getting lucky was he not so we're gonna check this out and if you don't know Patrick Corbin it's pretty much just four seamer sinkers and sliders that's really it sometimes he throws in a, a, a change up sometimes he slows down that curveball turns it more into that loopier curveball but really when you talk about Patrick Corbin it's about four seamers and it's about sliders and where he's putting them. That is usually to right-handers jamming that four-seamer inside and then the slider falling off inside. It's kind of the Kling Kershaw mentality of let's nail this inside corner and then play off that with my slider. Or sometimes he does steal strikes away against uh, right-handers, maybe get them moving away towards the outside corner and then surprising them inside. He's not so much of a north-south guy as we've seen from other pitchers on this channel, but Really, really focusing on getting this slider down here. If he has that pitch working, everything else comes into play, especially when you compare it with that four-seamer. So we're going to go to the sixth inning now. As he's already in a groove, he's already throwing 92-93. It's an exciting time. And we're going to see maybe, is he still in rhythm? Is he able to, you know, does he still have the stamina? As he did go seven innings, but was it fortunate at the end? Uh, did he really feel strong until the final out? So here we're in the sixth inning. We've got the right-hander up of uh, Gene Segura, and first pitch comes in, and it's a big 79-mile-per-hour breaking ball. Kind of looks like a curveball here. I believe this is the slider uh, coming in uh, <laughs> coming in at 79 miles per hour. That's a good pitch. That's a first pitch strike. Uh, that's all that really matters here. And down in the zone, it's rare for uh, Corbin to be punished on this. Um, the way that Gene Segura fouled it off down the line does kind of look like he's ahead of it, kind of looking for a fastball to jump on early in the count, and you should be really happy with this. Look, he's looking for fastball now. Just swung at that slider. To me, I'm thinking, okay, you're ahead of this already. Your timing's already a little bit off. I want to see you get your timing now on your slider so then I can move on to the fastball. So I'm going to throw another slider, probably the same spot here to Segura. No. Oh, man, he just blew him away with 93 away. <laughs> what do I know? Uh, this is interesting. So it looks like this is a sinker because you have Segura swing at this and it's away. Makes me think that it started over the plate and then came back away from him look at that so so this is so Zegura is way behind on this uh, I'm talking about timing being you know I want to get him off balance already but Segura is clearly not does not know what to expect uh he's thinking that slider first he's got he was behind on that one or rather ahead of that one so maybe he was tuning himself back a little for that slider but then he just got blown away by this one I want to freeze it like look at this swing he's looking inside you can kind of see how the butt is out uh, that means he's kind of opening up for uh, inside heaters, and he's trying to poke at it now. And uh, it just doesn't – he just can't get there in time. Oh, love it. Okay, so ni that's 93. Love to see that. Uh, so he's got two strikes now. And he goes tries to go four-seamer inside, 94. Misses that one down. That's a, That's a really frustrating if I'm Corbin, but – I will say he overthrew it a little bit. Seeing 94, he's pushing up the gas a touch. Normally, we're seeing again 92, 93 in the start. Um, that's probably why he uh, put that in the dirt. It, it tells me essentially he rushed his arm circle as he was trying to overthrow it just a bit, a bit too much. That's fine. All right. Let's try and do this again. He probably is going to go with a slider now after throwing that one. And it did look like Segura went around. Ooh. And this is really frustrating because he didn't throw this one too well. I mean, it did go in the dirt. It did, you know, it was behind the plate as opposed to in front of the plate. But if he threw it a little bit better, just a touch more, so maybe it lands in the dirt as opposed to hitting it and bouncing. Like, if this goes up here instead, he has it. If he executed exactly what he wanted, he would have had the whiff. Uh, so now it's a full count. And he leaves that one up. This is actually the worst pitch of this at-bat. This is pretty hittable, and if I'm secure, I'm, I feel lucky that I was able to get a pitch that I can extend my arms on, 
and push that and just happen to be right at the defender. Well placed by uh, the second baseman, but oh, this is this is not a good pitch. This is supposed to be on the inside corner, and I do believe that inside corner would have gotten him as Segura does push it away, suggesting that he was a little bit late on it. Really nice piece of hitting. Just happened to go straight at the second baseman. So Corby got a slightly lucky there, but I will say throwing 93 as opposed to 90-91 gives you those opportunities, you know. Um, that could have been a, a little bit slower, could have been maybe pulled and actually done more damage into the outfield. But that's a ground ball, and that's an out, first out of the inning. Okay, so lefty time. Uh, we're going against Bryce Harper. You got to think, if you have a really good slider, I mean, you are just going to live over here with sliders pretty much the entire at-bat. So let's see how he starts them. What do you know? It's a slider. That's a really good one. Now, the break on this is fantastic. Yes, it misses out of the zone, and you probably want it over here. But, ooh, if you were banking that Harper was going to be aggressive, uh, that's a swing and miss every time. And Harper decided not to. I mean, he's showing Bunt to kind of throw off. He's trying to throw off. Maybe he's considering if it is like a fastball up in the zone or right here that he could push down the third baseline. But I think for the most part, he's trying to just throw him off a little bit. I. Uh, and making them think, like, essentially he's pulling that back, and if it's a ball, he's thinking, okay, cool, now they're going to maybe inch in on the third baseline and consider the bunt a little bit more. And maybe Harper was just planning on taking the entire way through. Uh, I'm not I'm not considering that a serious thing. If I'm if I'm Corbin, I'm just ignoring that completely. So 1-0. See, here we go. Oh, <laughs> Perfect. Oh, my God. That is so beautiful. <laughs> And like, so 1 0, you're behind in the count. And Harper's thinking, okay, you just missed on a slider. You're going to come back at me with a fastball. And the thing is, too, even if Harper isn't aggressive on this, likely this is getting called a strike. This is right on the corner, uh, just like my podcast on the corner. But seriously, this is so unbelievably perfect. So, so good. Uh, let's do this one more time. Oh, that's just that's just gorgeous. You earned that second strike. That's just so great. Um, so we are at one one, one one. You see the aggression of Harper there at one one. I, I mean, I'm, I'm cheating a little bit because I can kind of see the catcher setting up. I'm believing that this is setting up for a slider away. Uh, you just threw two of them. You got to think that Harper's waiting for that fastball to crush, and you just execute the perfect slider. Just throw that one again. It was so good. And he did. I mean, look at this. This is not uh, this is not as perfect as the other one, but this is pretty much as perfect. And you got the swing and the foul ball. Yeah, Harper, you're dead to rights right now. Because you can throw another one. And I think Harper is going to chase it. I think if you throw another one, just the same thing right now. He's just swung at that one out of the zone. <sighs> Make Harper show to you that he can lay it off. And even if he does lay it off, you might want to throw another one at 2-2. Two -two. Because he might be thinking, sequencing about, I'm going to wait for my fastball and get that eventually. And if I'm Corbin, just don't give in whatsoever. Yep, there it is. Oh, perfect. I mean, that's three in a row. That's three perfect sliders in a row from Corbin. Oh, my God. I, 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 can't, I can't express to you how great it is to see this. Earlier on in the year, Corbin was just laboring with that slider. In that at bat. Alone, we saw two whiffs on sliders from Corbin. I believe in his previous start, that was it. He had the entire start, right? That's we we saw multiple starts this year with Corbin having two or fewer whiffs total uh, on that slider, and that's it. That's the pitch that was a twenty-five to thirty percent swing strike rate in two thousand nineteen. That that is the elite slider. We would compare sliders in the game from lefties to Corbin's. That is it. It's so great to see it again. It, re it really, really is. And then we just have to cross our fingers that it's there for the next start. Gorgeous. So there he goes. Yeah, throw it again, right? Like, he's clearly feeling this one. This does not need to be this buried one at the moment. It's oh oh, Get a first pitch, first pitch strike. Yeah, sure, they're probably aiming for this to be here because that's kind of where Corbin lives with that slider all the time. It's typically not like this. But the movement and break on this, like... I sure you know th that's the kind of confidence you have with a really good breaking ball 
is once you feel the movement of it and you, you can uh, there's that beautiful moment when it releases out of your fingers kind of like when you're shooting a three-pointer and you know from the second it's out of your hand that it's going in it's how it feels with a breaking ball too and you have so much confidence like it doesn't matter where I put this thing even if it isn't in the right spot it's going to have the movement it's going to break exactly as I want and it's going to be impossible to hit so cool to see this from, from Corbin so if you know if you're taking note in your head, he didn't throw a single fastball to Harper. So that's five straight sliders. I do wonder if we're going to see a fastball and maybe set something up here. I, 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 Hoskins gave us no information in that first one. Um, I don't really think that he was going to be looking for that first pitch slider, or if he did, that he would want to swing at it. So we don't really know at this moment if he's going fastball or if he's going slider. He's giving us real no information. Um, and it might be a time to actually, after a fast a slider away here, you might want to set up the fastball inside. Nice. That's what they did. Hoskins, I think, was kind of ready for it. Notice it was going to be a ball and and, and uh, decided to not to swing. Um, that's kind of what that check swing tells us. Um, it does mean to me that you should probably be, be seeing sliders now, especially actually, even though this is a ball, this does set up Corbin's slider, right? I. Uh, you might think, as Hoskins cooled, this is what it looks like as the fastball. You've been primed for it. And the slider out of Corbin's hand does look like the fastball a lot. So he could be thinking, oh, let's say that slider lands down here next pitch. It will look like a fastball inside corner. And Hoskins thinks, oh, he's just trying to execute the pitch. He just missed that. And all of a sudden, it falls off the table. So we'll see what Corbin goes with. He could probably go with that fastball inside again. I think Hoskins is looking for it a bit. That will probably throw that slider instead. Ooh, yes! Ah! Oh! <laughs> so good! That's so good. That's exactly what we just talked about. Right? Like, you s even missing with the 92 inside, or 93 in the previous pitch, that sets this up, even though that was a ball. Because Hoskins thinking, I'm going to adjust. I'm going to throw that fastball I wanted to hit in 01. And you just... Oh, you throw that slider and just falls off the table. Hoskins thinks it's a fastball all the way through. And that check swing that Hoskins showcased was in, indeed a tell that he was timing up for that heater. Oh, I want to watch that again because this is so beautiful. Look, at this point, I mean, now it's already starting its break. But here, it looks like it can be that fastball that lands inner third of the plate. And it just dies. And this is the difference. If you remember before against Gene Segura where I criticized the 2-2 uh, the offering, uh, or maybe it was 1-2, that landed in the dirt because he had the check swing from Segura and he didn't go all the way through. This is what I'm talking about. This doesn't land in the dirt. This is caught, right? This, this lands in the dirt as opposed to bounces in the dirt, right? Big difference of depth that is still under the zone and gets the whiff. But, man, oh, that's so perfect. So, I mean, now you can do anything you want. Hoskins has no idea. He's like, if it's if I see a pitch coming here, do I swing at it or do I not? He has no clue. You can probably freeze him with an up and in fastball. But honestly, after seeing a massive whiff like that, just the old rule, right? Make him beat you first before you change your game plan. Throw another slider. Let's see what they do. They throw it again. He check swings. Nice job by Hoskins. That's actually a really, really underrated skill to be like, oh, I'm beat. And to instead of swing full way through, just like follow the bat and like tap it foul. That's a really good job because that's a, that's a devastating pitch. This is right underneath the zone. And he was committed. Oh, and just and fouled it off to stay alive. That's a really good job by Hoskins. So fine. I mean, fine. If you want to get a fastball, throw a good one. Oh, man, he went around on that one. Oh, my God. This is this is actually the worst pitch I think uh, uh, Corbin threw this entire at bat, and Hoskins I guess is just selling out this entire at bat, waiting for that fastball, kind of like Harper did in the previous one. He only got one, and in some ways Corbin did a really good job throwing it as a ball. It made him think about it the entire way through, leading up to this terrible swing on one two. And there's Corbin, and he's upset. He wanted him to check it. He wanted him to check down the line. Uh, but here's the thing. I mean, Corbin's slider is back. And that slider just does everything. And to pair that with a four-seamer that is coming in 92-93 as opposed to 
means that all of a sudden batters can't just cheat on on the fastball anymore. They actually they have to focus on it. Well, I'm sorry, they have to cheat on the fastball. They can't just get away with looking at slider and then backup plan hit that 90-91 mistake. Now Corbin has a has a larger margin for error on his fastballs, and he also has his devastating slider from before. Patrick Corbin has returned, and it is glorious. But that's going to do it for this edition of the Pitcher Video Breakdown. I'll be back on Monday uh, with more of them. And, of course, until then, may your babips be low and your strikeouts high. I'll see you guys on Twitch.